Now it's time for February's Film Club. So, of course, I'm joined by our film expert, Malachi Ray Rempen. So, what's our film this month? Well, Daniel, this month we looked at Wings of Desire, or as it's known in English, or Himmel über Berlin, which literally translates to Sky or Heaven over Berlin in English. And uh, who directed this film? Who's behind it? Director was Wim Wenders. It was made in 1987. Um, it won the Palme d'Or at Cannes that year and is generally well regarded. I think it's I think that people consider that to be Wim Wenders' best film. Okay. So what is Himmel über Berlin Wings of Desire about? Right, so the premise is that there are angels that walk among us in Berlin who um can't be seen but who can hear our thoughts and um our you know, our wishes and our desires and our problems and our um, tragedies and the things we are worried about, these kinds of things. And they can't intervene in any way, but they sort of, over thousands of years, have sort of um, spend their days sort of contemplating the little the little things in life. Like he notices, you know, how people open their umbrellas and smile at each other or how a how um, an old man looks over his shoulder as he's crossing the street, these kinds of like little details um, they become really interested in because they, they can't live a human life and they become fascinated. One, the, the main character, Angel in particular, who's played by Bruno Gantz, um, becomes obsessed with this idea of actually becoming human himself. Um, and then he does. He falls, so to speak, from angelhood and... Um, becomes a human and then sort of the because he falls in love with a girl and that's the plot more or less yeah and um so international audiences may know bruno gans from the film downfall in particular uh where he played hitler i mean this this was probably his most highest profile role uh, internationally but he's also been in some hollywood and english language films as well yeah he was in a film by francis ford coppola um the name of which I don't remember. And uh, he was at, he was in the bottom Einhof complex too. Yes, yes, he was, which we talked about last month. Mm -hmm. um, so is this a good film? Is this something that you would... Uh, who would you recommend it to, or, all if right. at all? So I chose this film to watch this because when I was at film school many years ago, this was my favorite film of all time. I had a signed poster by the vendors hanging in my apartment or my dorm. This was the, like, I just, I loved this movie. And watching it again, I just did not love the movie as much as I, as much as I did. And I think part of it has to do with that the movie was, is made to be seen in a cinema when you've decided you, you have two hours to put aside to watch this movie because it, there are, there are parts of it that drag. There are parts of, it's a very artsy film. The, the narrative I described sounds much more, um, coherent than what's actually in the film because it's very slow paced isn't it the pace is very slow and it's also just artsy in that way that you know it's part black and white part color and the, there's a lot of feelings and sort of suggestive imagery and sort of it can get kind of abstract and there's a lot of extended sequences that don't really have anything to do with the premise of angels and this kind of thing and the film is when it when it does have to do with the premise when it is talking about this this fantastic idea which to me even the second time around like the idea of angels walking among us that, that, that feel our pains and tragedies and try and, you know, put their heads on our shoulders in, a, in this invisible way is a beautiful idea. And there's a lot of scenes that, that, that when it deals with that, that are fantastic. And the idea of an angel falling from grace and, and, and coming to be with be human is such a great idea. Um, that it, in, but when it doesn't have to do with that, then it drags and then it has problems. And so I think... If you can set aside the patience mentally when you're sitting down to watch this movie and be like, okay, it's going to be a little weird, it's going to drag on, it's going to be two hours long, and it's not going to be a, an action thrill ride, and you can put yourself in that mind space, I think you'll appreciate it a lot more. Then it's a, then when you're in that that mental space, it is a beautiful film. Visually, it's, it's very smooth, it's very... Yeah, I mean, for example, in, in the beginning, you, you glide over Berlin as if you were looking from the perspective of the angel. You glide into people's living rooms and hear their thoughts and move from one apartment to the other. And so it, it's a very smooth, but like I said, low, slow paced. 
and also it's very i know it's it it does make you think um it does make you because because there's a lot of time to stop and reflect so it does make you think about how we treat each other and how people interact with each other and the the little things in life as the angels are contemplating them so no and that's and it's a great perspective on us as a sort of as as humans like to see it from their perspective and the little things that we do and just appreciate when he becomes human and he just he's like kicking around sand and he's just like breathing the air and he's like so excited just to do little things like he, he hits his head and he's like is this blood wow and he's like tasting it. he's like oh my god it has a taste you know it's just such a it's a great um moments like that are really they're, they're beautiful they're wonderful little scenes and again it's it's taking that premise but when it sort of wanders from the premise and there's these like circus scenes it's just like we're being we're in a circus and it has nothing to do with the, the general plot i mean other than sort of that he the girl that he loves is a trapeze artist but like you know you can only see somebody not a trapeze for so long before it's like what are we is this an angel movie or a trapeze movie um so, so if you can get past that then i think that yeah definitely i would still recommend it i absolutely would and for another reason which is being made in 1987 it's berlin with the wall and there's a lot of scenes with the wall he uses the wall as a way to sort of separate the two worlds the human and the angel world and um that's very cool to see uh you know, everyday life in Berlin with this with this giant wall going through it, which they filmed with, you know, they used in the film. And Potsdamer Platz, I don't know if you saw that scene, which which is just an empty lot, yeah. basically. Um, it's amazing, if, especially if you visited Berlin, to look at this film and to, you know, be transported back in time. Um, and it, it feels... I mean, the, the, the way it's filmed is so sharp that... You know, you, you're used to looking at black and white film, which is grainy and, and old looking into the past. But this is so sharp that it's weird to think how much Berlin has changed since this film was made. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it, I, I, I think I think it was it's well worth watching, but it's not really for everyone. And I think it's definitely something where you need to be ready to relax, contemplate, take it all in um, and have a think rather than. Uh, switch it on to be just purely entertained. Yeah, set aside the time, put yourself mentally there. Be like, we're gonna, we're gonna go. I mean, take us, take me somewhere, Vin Vendors. Take me on this experience. You know, then, then you'll be more into it than if you're just like, ah, I could rather be watching something else. So, uh, what film should we cover for March's film club? Do you have an idea, or do you want a suggestion from me? I think it's your turn. Well, I was thinking Das Leben der Anderen, the lives of others. Uh, it's a film about. Uh, uh, the Stasi, the um, basically the the spies which spied on people within the GDR of East Germany, and it's a it's a fascinating film. It's it's really well made, and I think it will change the pace a little bit from uh, the one that we discussed uh, this month. So, what do you think about that one? I think that's a great choice. It's a great film. I'd be happy to revisit it. Okay, so. The film club film for March is Das Leben der Anderen, The Lives of Others. So, um, Malachi, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, you'll be back next month, right? That's right. See you, Daniel. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> if you want to see some of Malachi's film work, check out his website, mmrimpen.com. Send us your comments on March's film club movie, The Lives of Others, and we'll read them out next month.